Hello and welcome back to the channel. Here we have a broken Fiat. This is its engine. This has been uh, our daughter's car and she gave it back when it didn't work. And there's a lots of little bits wrong with it, but um, here we have it. It's a lot easier to get its stuff. And in particular, so diagnosis. Diagnosis is it burns oil. I uh, I've not been able to fathom out why so, it's burning so much oil. The idea is to take off all these auxiliary bits, take the exhaust off, exhaust manifold, the turbo, and the catalytic converter. We're going to take all this running. stuff off, we're going to clean out the catalytic converter, we're going to overhaul the turbo and we're going to make sure that the uh, the exhaust manifold is clear of carbon. Of the turbo. As we've seen in the previous. See all the glow plugs, you've got your oil filter housing and the oil cooler and your split the exhaust and the inlet side off the cassette which is in the middle removing these getting that actuator off getting the oil uh, return off
screen ready. Got all the parts to reassemble this. We even have our blown up diagram. So we can put it together correctly. It's been a little while since I uh, took it all apart. Oh, that comes off. We won't bother. It'll be fine. We'll be using the Supervac kit. Why have we got two in there? Oh, well, so we'll start off with replacing the. A ring, a ring. And we'll just give that a clean up. Sorry. Parts we don't need are all there. doing it wrong already but we do need that one off and that collapsed we got that we're going to reuse the bobbin thing done it there we are almost there we are and done so that's now out we've got that now we've got that o-ring to come off that done. Put this old ring on. Make sure it's not twisted. No, nope, all good. So now we've done that, we'll push this through and it should snap into place it should it's not going to though isn't going to. That's done now. And now we're going to slip the new bearings over the top. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just a smidge of oil down there and well I have to get this out now because the bobbin won't fit down that bobbin fits
finally. on like that. this the right slots like that and you can see there we want the screw holes lined up with these holes we've got a thrust bearing turns well. Shaft is nice and uh, straight. That now fits on the top. And finally we put the left-handed thread on. So that's anti-clockwise to nip up. A mate. So that should spin freely, which it didn't do before. Just a, what you don't want to do is bind, so you don't want it binding, and that's quite free. But I've nipped that up, so that is the cassette finished. Um, we have this on here, and you'll see from this, these two holes are close together, it's like a, a triangle, and goes on there like that. So in this pack they've given us the right number of bolts. So we've got these three, these three just go in here. These are flange head nuts, flange bolts even, flange bolts. Together. But, uh, I'm taking my time. 
make sure it's right. See the bolts actually holding down the two by compressing that to that. Put this little thing, the vacuum pipe back on. 